here, wah, wah, wah. what's up YouTube, this is Takadaro, but back again, and welcome back to Flife, here on the Mushpang server with my level 80 Jester Ks. Uh, today I wanted to attempt something very interesting. There's a couple YouTube videos that have gone around a while back about soloing the wilds on a yo-yo Jester. And if you've seen any of our old videos, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in real quick, uh, any of mine and Raz's old videos... Of the grindstone we attempted the wilds twice and uh, we failed both times just because of uh, con at the end but seeing those like solo videos on a yo-yo gesture it makes a lot of sense with the use of uh, fast walker and dark illusion being able to get past a lot of these monsters uh, I wanted to go ahead and give it a try myself today and see how far I could get as just, you know, something fun to do. I'm level 80 and 80 is the cap for the wilds, so I wanted to give it a try. If anyone has any questions about my gear or anything, I've got level 14 uh, pang buffs, the ones from Darken 3. I've got full cruiser plus 3, no awakenings or anything. Uh, Vigors plus 3, Demos plus 3, and the Gore plus 3, as well as a strength and stamina Lucica yo-yo. Pierced once with uh, a fire card A, strength plus 7, and increased critical damage plus 2%. And I've got the full fierce dragon set. So it's got the set bonus as well as the mask and the uh, cloak. So that's what I'm working with today. We're going to go ahead and give the wilds a try and see if I can one-up Raz and our old characters. Let's give it a try. And uh, for those of you who haven't done the wilds before... The objective of it is you have to get to these areas uh, behind all these monsters that have like these uh, little totem poles that you have to break down and you have to break every single totem pole to be able to spawn the boss at the end and then from there you kill the boss and uh, yeah. I did want to actually fight one of these because I wanted to see how much they hurt and how much I hurt them. Uh, they are level 70. Ooh, 1482 is pretty rough TBH. But that's okay. We'll just go ahead and kill it. Ouch. Woo! Okay. We've got the first totem pole within our sights. Go ahead and do my buffs. And take it down. The totem pole of water. Um, if y'all are thinking that I'm just gonna throw my body at, uh... <laughs> King Khan at the end or whatever. Uh, luckily, I have at least a little bit of a strategy in mind to attempt. I have no clue if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to give it a try. Similar to everything else with me doing the wilds here, I'm giving it a try. Uh, sneak as far as I can. We'll go ahead and Dark Illusion about here. See if I can make it all the way back. <clears throat> I've got some... Uh, I believe run speed on the dragon set. It's part of the set bonus. So that helps me uh, traverse from A to B a little bit easier. This is scary though. It feels like I'm playing some kind of like a stealth game. Trying to get past all these enemies. Without aggroing them and stuff. Oh my lord. Yeah. Did I get that one? No, I haven't aggroed any of them. Who needs Dark Illusion? Just be uh, a, a weaver boy. Weave in and out of them. Let's keep along the edge, working my way around. Uh, I also hope you know that this video is being held together with uh, gum, scotch tape, and a dream because this party is just the one that I had with Raz in my last video. And uh, <laughs> it is me and one other person. So I'm hoping they don't leave mid-dungeon and I don't even know if that would like kick me out or what. So... Here's to hoping, right? Go ahead and uh, yet again hope that these cobras don't try to attack me. Because they were hurting quite a bit. Take out this windy boy. Uh, most videos that I see of actual wilds runs, of course, aren't solo. But uh, also the person would be like, I don't know if it'd count as the savage wilds. They'd get to hero... And then de-level themselves to 80 and then run the wilds. So they've got like the damage and stats of a level 80 character. Oh, that was close. And then run the wilds. And I'm like, well, you're, you're kind of cheating. I see what you did there. But, you know, it's fine, I guess. The game allows it. I guess I will too. Uh, how am I getting past these? Let's go ahead and cut through the middle here. 
Did I not aggro? Nice. Look at me go. I said I was going to use Dark Illusion. Who needs it? We weave in back and forth. Here's the Tanukis, the uh, actual cute monsters of the wilds. And this pole, or totem pole, I mean, is going to be one of the harder ones because it's kind of right in the middle of the Tanukis. So I'm going to have to really squeeze in there and see if I can get to the pole. Uh, no matter what, I do not want to be aggroed by more than one thing at a time for sure. I'm going to go ahead and buff, see if I can make it through here real quick without aggroing. I got them both. Never mind. So let's do this. Where are y'all going to relocate to? Uh, bad places, that's where. So let's go ahead and take this one out just to make sure he doesn't bother me. Please don't get pushed into the other one. Ooh, you hurt. You hurt lots. Oh, God. I just gotta hope that that one enforcer right there doesn't decide to make a U-turn all of a sudden and come running at me. Oh, so that's three totem poles down after this one. I believe there is one more. Ah! Okay, yeah, stay over there. Don't don't come this way, my man. You're cute. You're cuddly. You're fuzzy. You got some sharp things. Just stay over there. But yes, three totem poles down. That is either I believe one or two more to go. I guess we will find out as we go, though. This is going significantly faster than my run with Raz back in the day. Probably because we're not spending time killing every single monster in our way. That's not good. Uh, let's go ahead and get my invisibility on. There we go. A <laughs> little nerve-wracking there. I don't have to be that dangerous. Uh, let's see, got seven seconds. Let's go ahead and make it up here and then find a corner to hide in. We'll hide right over here and then hope that nothing attacks me or gets too close to me while I'm waiting for my recharges. Okay, we're good. Go ahead and come up here. Fast walker and invisible. Ugh, Dark Illusion is so broken. What do we got going on in here? Uh, stressful situations, that's what. Let's hop over this tree. <laughs> I want to be careful doing this. I don't want to get stuck back here. And I also don't want to uh, end up getting aggroed through a wall because then the monsters like to get really glitchy on you. Okay, make it around the tree. There's a shaman in my way there. That's unfortunate. Can I make it around him? Oh, we cutting through the middle. We're going through. It's a good thing that these monsters don't have a line of sight bigger than uh, 10 feet. Let's go ahead and cut around back again. Can I get over this somehow? Yeah, sneak through the back. Oh, invisible wall here. Yeah, seems like it. That's okay. We'll find a way through. Uh, if anything, I think... Yeah, the gate is right over there. So I'm going to go ahead and take a step forward. Fast walker. Uh, uh, the game is going to glitch just a little bit. Let's go invisible. And the totem pole, the final totem pole is right there. Huzzah! We've done it. Go ahead and self-buff and then take this thing down. Cool. So we made it to the totem poles. Honestly, better than I thought I was going to do. Uh, those monsters are hitting kind of hard back there. Um... The only thing I really got going for me is these yellow balloons that give me 150 extra hit points. But, you know, we're, we're going. We're trucking <laughs> as quickly as possible and as safely as possible. Uh, so this last totem pole should, in turn, spawn the boss within the next room. And then we get to test out my theory and see how it works. Or my strategy, I guess. Let's see if we got them all. O oh, Khan, Beast King of Khan, art thou here? Ooh, I like that little glowing effect up there. I wonder why nothing else glows. Hello, Khan. There you are. Beast King Khan. All right. So, uh, this is basically going to be like trying to orbit the planet Saturn. If I get too close, it's going to violently suck me in and rip me to shreds. Uh, but I need to get in just that little space where I am able to attack him and then run away. 
I'm going to test and see if, um, I believe if I get too close, he's going to aggro me. But uh, something about if I'm behind him and he starts walking a different direction, I'm able to attack him and then run away really fast and go invisible. So I'm going to try to wait for him to walk, hopefully towards his throne there. Oh, not the way I wanted him to walk. Woo, with the game glitching like that, I'm going to end up getting killed. Went the wrong way. Let's go ahead and try it. And then run. Oh! So it turns out I'm not fast enough. And he can also do, what was that, about 3,500 damage in one melee hit. My uh, strategy that I was going to attempt was to hit a Pena, run away, go invisible, and then try it again. But I think I caught him as he wasn't walking. The strategy was supposed to be behind him while he was walking, use it as he was walking away from me so that he would continue to just walk that extra inch so he wouldn't be able to hit me. But uh, you know how strategies go, and here we are. I am amazed that I was able to make it this far uh, soloing. Just, uh, I don't know, that's a personal achievement of mine. Of course, I uh, relied on Dark Illusion quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, I think this boss is only soloable with a, <laughs> uh, hero leveled back down to level 80, or actually doing it in a party as intended. So, I give it my shot at level 80. I'm sorry it didn't work out. Uh, it wasn't a total waste of time because I had fun, and you get to know a little bit more about Fast Walker and Dark Illusion. Uh, King Khan, you have bested me once again. That smiley face right over here is laughing directly in my face down here. My eyes are closed and everything. But, uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you honestly have any tips on beating Khan solo or maybe in a duo party, I'd love to hear them down in the comments. Uh, how about an actual strategy of beating him too? Do you just attack him in a party? Or was what I was doing pretty good uh you just need to be you know get good or more skilled at it but uh yeah well thanks for tuning in guys i do appreciate the view i'm sorry it didn't end the way i wanted it to and i died in the first hit but uh thanks anyway guys have a good one let me know if you want to see more flife videos let me know what you want to see in flife and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye